This is question 8. We're told figure 2 shows the design for a triangular garden ABC where AB equals 7 metres, AC equals 13 metres and BC equals 10 metres. Given the angle BAC equals theta radians, in part 8 we need to show that to 3 decimal places theta is equal to 0 0.865. The question carries 3 marks. If I just draw a little sketch, we can take from this the information we need. We've got 7 metres, we've got 10 metres, and we've got 13 metres. This doesn't have to be massively accurate. We've got theta just here, we've got 13 here, we've got 7 here, and we've got 10 here. We can use the cosine rule to find a missing angle given three lengths. So we've got A just here, so this is going to be little a. We've got B just here and C just here. You can, of course, swap those round. So what we can state now, using the cosine rule, cos A will be equal to B squared plus C squared minus A squared over now two lots of BC. Of course, you can use the cosine rule in its other form. I just think it's easier to write it like so. So what we can say then is that theta, the angle, is going to be equal to the inverse cosine, and remember we're working in radians, of b squared, which is going to be 13 squared, plus c squared, which is for 7, and then we're going to have minus 10 squared, and we're going to divide this by 2 lots of b, which is 13, multiplied by c, which is 7. So on a calculator, we can go ahead and find this value. So check it in radians mode, shift mode 4, and we're going to have now 13 squared plus 7 squared minus 10 squared. And we're going to divide this by 2 times by 13 times by 7. So we can say now that theta will be equal to the inverse cosine of 59 over 91. So theta is equal to the inverse cosine of 59 over 91. If we just go ahead now and find that value. So shift cos, the inverse cosine of the quantity and that's going to give us now 0 0.86537 and so on and so forth. So 0 0.865, then we're going to have 37 dot 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 dot. Therefore, we can say now that theta will be equal to 0 0.865, and that now is correct to the three decimal places required. So that's the first part. We simply use the cosine rule. We're now told the point D lies on AC such that BD is an arc of a circle centre A radius 7 metres. The shaded region S is bounded by the arc BD and the lines BC and DC. The shaded region S will be sown with grass seed to make a lawned area. Given that 50 grams of grass seed are needed for each square metre of lawn, we're asked in part B to find the amount of grass seed needed given our answer to the nearest 10 grams. The question carries seven marks. So let's just go ahead and put some information on. What we've got here now is this sector. We've got now the D, we've got the A, and we've got the B. So what I'm going to do is simply write now that this is going to be seven meters also. That is AD. We want this shaded region here. Now if I can find the area of the entire triangle and then subtract away the area of this sector, we have S. So let's look at what we can use here. We can use 1 half AB sine C. So I'm going to write here now that the area of the triangle, so this is the area of the triangle, will be 1 half AB sine C. Now if we think about, and we'll call this now area of triangle, and then if we consider now area of circle, this is going to be 1 half r squared theta. So let's see what we've got here. We can use, of course, theta in the first part. So we're going to have now 1 half, and I'm going to have a, b. Now I'm going to have 7 and 13. Remember, I'm working out the size now, or the area, of the entire triangle. So what we're going to have is something that looks like so. So if we just jot this up, we have theta just here. We have now 7 here and we have 13. So for now the triangle, we're going to have 1 half AB. So it'll be 1 half 7 times 13 times now the sine of the answer in my calculator, which is 0 0.865 dot 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 and so on and so forth. 
that's going to give me the whole area. We're going to subtract away from that now one half r squared. And what we're considering here now is the area of this sector alone. So we're going to have now minus one half r squared, which is going to be seven squared theta, which is going to be the 0 0.865 dot 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 and so on and so forth in the calculator. Now at this stage, you could go ahead and do a bit of factoring. You can do, it's entirely up to you. All I'm going to do now is find S. So we can say now that S will be equal to this quantity, subtract this one. So let's go ahead now and just plug this into the calculator. So I'm going to save this, shift store A. So this is now in my answer. So what we're going to have then is the following. We're going to have now 7 times 13 divided by 2. So we're going to have 7 times by 13 divided by the sine now of A, which is going to be plugged in here. And we're going to divide this by 2. And that's going to give me 34.64 and so on and so forth. So 34.64 dot, 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 dot. I'm going to store this in now as B. So that's going to be shift store B. Now, what we're going to do is subtract away from it this quantity here. So I'm going to subtract away from this now. We're going to have 49 multiplied by the value of A, which is theta, divided by 2. And that's going to give me 21.201. So minus 21 point, and that's going to be 201, dot, 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 and so on and so forth. If I want, I could store this in as C. It's entirely up to you. So all I'm going to do here is do now B minus the answer that I've just put in a C, and that's going to give me 13.439 and so on and so forth. So 13 point, and we're going to have now 439 dot, 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 dot. So we need 50 grams of grass seed for every square meter. So this now is in square meters. So we can say that this is going to be meter squared rather than unit squared. So we can say now that this is going to be 13.439 dot, 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 times by 50. So if I just do that on the calculator, times this by 50, and that gives us 671. So we've got 671.96 dot, 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 grams. And we need to give our answer to the nearest 10 grams. So the answer to the nearest 10 grams will be 670 grams to the nearest 10. So to nearest, to nearest 10 grams. And that is one way that you can do that question. So all I've done is found the area of the entire tri triangle, subtracted away the area now of this sector and gone ahead and simply worked out the value. So one way to get the seven marks.